Hello everyone, name's Poppet, and I'm from the Nightfall server. I have a lot to update you guys on. First of all, I got Lena, and I managed to get her up to another star. Not only that, but I found a way to scrap up enough to get her to level 110, which I'm so happy about. She's so beautiful, she's so different, and she really impresses me with the fire elementals. I also got a gold matrix, which I already had zero, but I got to star him up. The game also let me upgrade my suppressor, so I managed to get Shiro. So now I have two Shiro matrices. I'm so excited about that. That's so cool. The game also gave me a Shiro weapon, so I got to star her up to four stars, and I also got a Lin matrix. And I'm not even at the pity yet. I'm almost at the 40 roll. I'm so close. And I just know for the 40th roll it's going to be something great. And I hope it's not a clone because the game really likes to give me clones. And not so much of the heart matrices. I don't know if anybody else is having that struggle. But I sure am. So I'm going to give like a bit of a test run to show how she looks. She really looks cool with the fire elementals. And right now I have a DPS class, but with Huma, I'll be able to have a balance class, so I'll also get perks from that alone. And I just love a balance class, and I finally am glad that they actually managed to, you know, bring that class out into the open. Since the other classes are more well-loved, we finally get to see where balance class comes in handy, and it's going to improve a bunch of elementals, apparently. One thing that I already love is that when you use her in the air or on the ground, one of these orbs with the dodge, yeah, it just flies out into Neverland and it just goes a whole nother direction. I don't know how that's going to work in battle just yet, but hopefully it comes out pretty cool looking. It doesn't seem to do much for the relics, no matter what element it is, but it seems to do quite a bit for the purple orb and I'm very happy about that because you can use Volt and fire while you're using Lin and it's kind of interesting it doesn't you know amplify it it just seems to you know I just like the way the numbers look and everything this is some of her weapon stat this is some of her weapons skills and mechanics which you're gonna see in a minute what I mean by the elemental and also by the class of the balance class because down here it will help you out with balance and it's kind of interesting it's a very unique weapon it's so new it's a very different element and i get that but wow they sure did a lot a lot of people were shitting on the fire class with the um lin weapon but really she does so well it's so pretty I'm very happy about this, and I almost have Huma up to another star. I got enough pity for it, almost. I'm so stuck on this. This is so cool. But once I get Huma up to another star, I'm going to replace her with Ruby for a minute. Or I might actually just replace Zero for a minute and see how well that does, because I want to take advantage of that class. And then I also want to take advantage of the fire elemental, but I also want to see how it plays out with the vault, all with three elements together, because if it's going to help with that, if I manage to get the purple orb start up enough, it will, like, help with vault, even if it's not deployed, and I just want to see what it looks like, it's cool, wow, her skills are very different from the other skill weapons, I just wish that there was a way that I can keep Ruby and Zero and still be able to get the balance class, even with Lin, but I get that she's supposed to be a DPS character. Although, to be fair, she doesn't seem to do as much for the shield breaking as Ruby does, or as much as a charge like Zero does, so I don't know, maybe Huma will be able to replace Zero for that, because Huma has a pretty balanced out charge and a balanced out shatter. I did want to talk about getting into the story in the other video, so I think we should definitely do that. And one of the ways that you can do this is by going up to people and just talking to them, seeing how they're like behaving and what their interests are and how they feel. You can also figure out 
what's going on with the storyline, but it's kind of limited, so you can't really get a whole lot. See, this is what I was talking about. There's a store right here that works, but then when you go to Maria, she's advertising for her store, but you can't get anything from it no matter what you do, so like... I hope it's something that they fix later on or that they, you know, consider later on. I don't know, but a lot of these guys seem to also be stuck when the time at the beginning of the game when Shirley kind of, you know, goes through her life crisis thing or whatever. So see, this it's just going to give us this store and then you go to that one and you're just she's just going to decline you immediately even though she's advertising for a store to be open. I do like the fact that we have a bunch of people to talk to. I just kind of wish that we had other things to talk about and not just, you know, being stuck on Shirley or the Ravagers. Like, I do wonder if in the future they're going to implement things like, how are you doing? What are you doing today? You know, other choices. I get that it's a limited game, but hopefully with all this money that they're making, they'll give us something interesting to you know, talk about with these people. Or at least they'll update them to where they're not just stuck when Shirley was going through a life crisis. And, you know, some of them were updated to where Zeke was, you know, thrown in. But it seems so vague and it doesn't seem, you know, he's kind of dead right now. Probably going to be revived. But, you know, they don't seem to, they, they're just focused on life crisis. Shirley mode. Another way you can get through the story is by messaging the simulacros. They'll give you some bits of the story, but if you tend to miss them, you're not going to be able to go back. You'll be able to go back if you've already done them, but if you tend to miss any or even the dailies, you're not going to... Yeah, you got to talk to the simulacros as dailies, by the way. It's very interesting, but... um. They, those modes will be completely gone and you will forever lose part of the story and that's kind of sad but I do like that we can go back on the things that we've done because we can kind of you know change things up a bit. I do like the fact that you know while a lot of people are struggling they're trying their best to you know come forward they're trying their best to do things they're trying to live their lives trying to you know basically survive and it is cool that it's an apocalyptic wasteland and the story will get a little bit darker when you talk to a little bit more people for now we're just going to talk to the people in one of these shelters and we're just going to go to every one of them and see how they behave a lot of people will brush you off but some people will be very interested in talking to you if you trigger the right type of mechanic Unfortunately, I got a little bit busy, so I wasn't able to keep up with the storyline, and I really didn't like to talk to Shirley too much, because it seems so repetitive, first of all, whereas with the other simulacras, you get different things. You can get a little, you know, further into the stories, further into other simulacra stories, but I did miss a, quite a bit, so 5, 6, and 7 are not there, and neither it would 9 or daily 1, 2, or 10 for the main line. But these main lines do come in handy because they're all important, basically. So you can tell she's, you know, pretty depressed in the beginning. She's struggling. She doesn't know much. She doesn't have a lot of self-conscious in herself, basically. Or, well, not really self-conscious, but she's, she is self-conscious, but she lacks self-confidence. That's the word I was looking for. My apologies. But even as they carry on, it just seems to get repetitive. And I get that, you know, she's transitioned, she's changed into this new being, but man, I do wish she has something new to her. I'm probably going to keep up with these storylines again and see if I can pick up on them. Because I've done that before, and it 
seem to carry on. Even though I have her fully awakened, I have Crowy fully awakened and he still sends messages and he'll still send gifts. By the way, Crowy's story is so interesting. I think you guys are going to really love that. But for right now, we're just going to make it a part one and then we'll just carry on to the other parts as we talk to more people throughout the game. And again, in Mororia, you're going to be kind of, you know, forced to talk to these people to get, you know, pings and things like that. It's not bad. I love that. And I do wish we get more. But I don't know how it'll look if we go back to them. Because some of these guys, if you respond to them, like one of these kids, if you respond to them, they're not going to respond. They're not going to give you the choices to pick again. So you kind of just, you know, they'll keep responding to you, but only limited and you won't be able to choose choices or any of that. But what I do like about Shirley is that even though she's depressed, she still manages to be as sweet and, you know, she tries really hard to be motivated. So I kind of try my best to be her hype person because I don't know what else, you know, to do. But that might have been the reason why I just keep getting repetitive lines over and over. And I do wonder if these guys will respond to people differently based off of their gender. I do hate that the game does that. When you're in the middle of, you know, getting into a story, building your character, or even designing anything, the game's gonna be like, oh, power mode, uh... But it's like, bro, you're fine. Why are you acting like that? Like, you're, you're fully charged, and sometimes you'd be overcharged, and it'll still do that. I think, it, I think it might be based on activity, but it seems broken, so, you know, and I get that when we came in from the beginning of the game, it was broken, so they kind of, you know, fixed it, but I don't think they really fixed it, so hopefully in the next update, they're gonna, you know, throw that back in there, and they're gonna fix that battery thing, because I would love to be able to just design, get into the story without disconnecting because if you disconnect in power mode too long you will completely be kicked off the server and the entire game i do hope i get a little bit more dailies because with those dailies you will get more gifts and more unique gifts as well as rare gifts sometimes they'll even give you two relics or one relic usually it's one relic but sometimes if you keep up with these dailies and these storylines they'll give you more sweets and gifts and it's kind of cool because it's literally anything that you can pick up from ingredients, car pieces, leveling up relics, leveling up your character armor, leveling up your weapons, leveling up your matrices, things like that. It's, it's pretty fun. And sometimes with each update, if you're keeping up with these guys long enough, they'll give you the newest or rarest ingredient. So when we had that little contest going on for the Ada Cafe, the simulacras in my mailbox would sometimes give me the rarest and the very newest ingredient that I would not encounter just yet until much later on in the game. So I love that these guys, you know, will update you on future characters that we don't have yet, but they'll also give us little ingredients and actually help us out with these events that go on. They're not really, you know, so much helpful, but they're just a little bit helpful like a friend would be in the game. And of course, with any weapon you get, you're going to automatically get a simulacra. You don't have to awaken them to get them into your mailbox, but as you can see, I really like to awaken simulacras because I just, I love the story. I do wish that a lot of these guys weren't copy-paste, though, in their responses, because some of them will just respond the same way, but some of them do respond a little bit differently about the Ravengers and about Shirley or about the shelter or about, you know, their surroundings. But I do wish we could talk about more different things. Or at least have more options. And I get that the game won't be able to do that, but devs, if you're out there, you know, Keep an eye out for that, because it's going to come in handy. A lot of people are looking forward to the story getting bigger and getting stronger. And darker. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> C 
See, this broken person, I'll never understand. You're just broken. Stop advertising. Watch, she'll decline me. She blames the economy. She just won't blame herself. She will never take accountability for her own actions. Your store is not open because you have nothing. Stop advertising for nothing. That honestly is the one person that pissed me off because I actually looked up on Google. I try to look it up on YouTube, but no matter what, no information on that store. You get store on Agnes, but you get nothing for Maria. And I get she's broken, but damn, is she going to get fixed? Or are we going to get a, like, a secret story? Is she a part of the main quest that we're going to like get? Like, if the devs want ideas and creativity, there's Maria right there. Just, you know, broken as ever. I do wish that when we pet these guys, they would actually speak to us. At the beginning of the game, they would give us question marks, but not so much anymore. And I kind of hate that. I mean, even the question marks was like, huh, animal. But now there's nothing, and so they're not really that interesting. I always just feel like I'm missing people whenever I do my runs. But I know that even though there's not really that many, there is quite a bit that I should try to get in this video. I won't have a whole lot of time for this video because I've kind of extended this long enough. But hopefully in the next video we get to do at least two places... And you guys get to see how these guys feel, what they're thinking, what they want to talk about, and stuff like that. So the responses are pretty, you know, copy-pasted, but their responses to us are sometimes different. Although they are sometimes just the same as someone else, and I kind of... It, it sucks. It really does suck, to be honest. But the story does get darker, and for now it's kind of, you know, all about Shirley and Zeke, but when you carry off to the other places, like Bange's docks, or, you know, even Hycros, you're gonna find people feeling a little bit differently. Ignore that. We're gonna ignore that notification at all cost, and just carry on about our day. Something else that would be nice is that if we finish the story, these guys would also update and, you know, discuss other things. Because right now the Ravengers, they're not going to bother this place anymore, so I do hope that they, you know, bring up other bad guys, the other villains in the story, and maybe someday in the future we'll actually get to play the villains or from the villain side. Because I think right now, we're not on the good side or the bad side. We're just doing what our character thinks is right. You know, self-righteous little misattitude over here. But, um, I think in the future they will give us something like that. Where we can play the opposite side. Or we can actually pick a side because I... I feel like my character is so confused as I am, but also knows about things that she shouldn't know about just yet, because we haven't really, you know, discovered it just yet, unless she's smart enough to piece all the information that I've been collecting together, and that's how the game's going to work, is by the AI silently collecting information and just, you know, going off by that, which would be pretty cool, you know playing with a character that can think for herself. But I do hope that we get to, you know, keep up with this and actually, you know, deduct with this character. So again, for now, the video is going to be cut short. 
But I do hope you guys enjoyed this. This was just me kind of talking to people and, you know, talking to Shirley. But in the other one, we're going to get to different simulacras and different people, as well as different places. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Gonna snag this last person here real quick, and then that'll be it. Bye, guys. I had really fun time.